Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my shack for a ham shack chat. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding grid tracker to your IC7300 and WSJTX setup. As an aside, just about everything I'm going to show you can be done with just about any rig once you get past connecting your rig to WSJTX. So if you're already playing with WSJTX, you're good. Everything else stays the same. Grid Tracker is one of the most powerful tools that you can use to improve your daily operations with WSJTX, especially when you're using the FT8 or FT4 modes. This video makes a couple of presumptions. The first is that you already have WSJTX installed and running successfully with your IC7300. And the second is that you want to improve your operations. One caveat, this video will focus on connecting your WSJTX with Grid Tracker. It will not delve into the various bells and whistles that both of these wonderful programs offer. That will come in due time with additional videos. The goal of this presentation is to get you up and running. This is a continuation of a recent video of mine where I showed you how to set up your computer, your rig, and WSJTX. There is a link to this video down in the video description, and I encourage you to use the chapters to get to the point in the video where you might need some additional help. If you have any concerns, corrections, observations, or just want to leave a friendly remark, please make a note down in the comments. Comments? Questions? We begin with your IC7300 and WSJTX started up. If you need help doing that, I'll refer you back to my previous video, which is down in the video description. There's only one place that we have to go in WSJTX, so we'll start by hitting File and selecting Settings and going over to the Reporting tab. On this tab, you want to have the Enable PSK Reporter Spotting, and this will become more important as we get into integrating Grid Tracker. Under the UDP server, you want to make sure that your UDP server is 127.0.0.1, which is this computer. You want to make sure that these three blocks are all checked, and you want to make sure that your UDP server port number is 2237. Your secondary UDP server needs to be enabled. Again, it's 127.0.0.1. And this time, the server port number you're going to put in there is 2333. 2337 is your WSJT program, and 2333 is Grid Tracker. Now, two other points that I want to make. First off, a little bit about UDP. The User Datagram Protocol, or UDP, is a core communication protocol used to send messages, both transmit and receive, between programs running on a computer or a network. The other thing is, because of the way UDP works, you need to make sure that the first thing you turn on when you're going to work this in the future is your WSJTX. Now we can get out of here by clicking OK. This is where we're at right now. In the next part, I'll introduce you to Grid Tracker. If you're enjoying this, or if you feel like you're learning something, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. Do you really like me? We start by downloading and installing Grid Tracker from this website. I'll drop the link down in the video description. The latest version is always shown, and Grid Tracker will let you know when there is an updated version available. As you can see, it is available for multiple platforms. Also, I presume that you already know how to install downloaded software, so I won't be going through that. I'm going to bring up Grid Tracker, and I'm going to bring up the Call Roster, which is a separate program under the Grid Tracker suite. Now, as a side issue, one more thing I need you to do. Come down here to your speaker icon, right-click on it, and open Volume Mixer. 
and you'll see that the default output and input device are set to the audio codecs. This isn't what you want, so I'm going to put it where I want it, and then we'll come down and just check everything. Call roster is the default, which is these. Uh, OBS is the program that I'm using to record this video, and WSJTX is on the audio codecs. Now that that's out of the way, let's go open up the settings, and that's this little icon right here. It looks like two gears working together, and it'll bring up this page in the general tab. The application status up here tells you that WSJTX is up and it's at 127.001 and port number 2237. So now you want to come down here and receive UDP messages from WSJTX. You just need to verify that this number is the same as that number and you'll be okay. And finally, you want to come over here to forward UDP messages and you want to make sure that your IP address is that of your computer, 127.0.0.1, and the port is 2333. Make sure it's enabled and that button gets highlighted. And as you can see, Grid Tracker is now set up to exchange information with WSJTX and vice versa. And by the way, this works just as well for many other modes in the WSJT suite, such as FT4. But you'll notice all of these that are here are now listed down here and we'll get more into that in just a second now this is where we're at two different programs working together to make your ft8 experience better and more efficient please share this video and a few of my others with your friends and cohorts in the ham radio community especially on social media. Let's head back to take a look at how the WSJTX and Grid Tracker team work together to make a contact. Now, as you recall, out here I had you enable the PSK reporter spotting. And what that's doing, all of the calling station in your band activity is continually reported up to PSK reporter. In the band activity area, all of the stations that are calling, for instance, KW4MY, is being reported up to PSK Reporter. And PSK Reporter compiles all that information. And in a second, I will show you what that does. But I wanted you to be aware of something that's going to happen on the map, and it's kind of cool. I'm going to put WSJTX in the CQ only mode. And you'll see when this completes that... I get rid of all of the QSOs in progress and only get the people who are calling CQ. Now the interesting thing about that is that all of these people are now down here in my list. Now up here, all of these calls are being presented in the order that they were decoded, which means some of them are weaker than the others. Sometimes picking out the strongest signal, which are the stations that are most likely for you to make a good contact with are hard to dig out, especially when there's a lot more of them up here. So down here, you can see that in the call roster, I was able to sort by signal strength all the signals coming in. So I'm going to go with N0 FJP, and I'm giving him a call right now. And see if he comes back to me. I am going to change this map a little bit, enlarge it. And you can see that when I'm calling him, and he's a 13, so that ought to be pretty good. And he's coming back to me now. You'll see the red line between my QTH, which is right there with the circle on it, and his QTH. Also, see those blue lines coming out? These are all the stations that have heard me in the last 3 minutes and 45 seconds on PSK. So these stations out here all work through me and I come up here and I complete it. And I'm going to click OK. And that little sound just confirmed that I have logged the program. As I mentioned in the beginning, the goal of this video was to show you how to make 
WSJTX and Grid Tracker work together. I hope I've met or even exceeded in that regard. I also hope you've had as much fun watching it as I've had putting it together. If you look behind me, you'll see my two computer screens. This one over here is what we've been playing with this whole video. This one over here is the N3 FJP Amateur Radio Contact Log. Integrating this log into what you already know is the goal of the next video in this series. If you don't use the N3 FJP Amateur Contact Log, don't worry. I'll be covering several other logging programs and giving you a very brief show and tell on how you can make them work in this mix. 73, and thanks for visiting my shack for another Ham Shack Chat. As always, I am at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. Little smart ass.